I knew I had a condition called PCOS, and many viewers probably have had this, or, ha or not have had this, have this. It's something that doesn't necessarily go away. It's pulmonary, or it's polycystic ovarian syndrome. And I knew 10 years ago I had this because I used to have them burst, and it was horribly painful and, and all this jazz. Well, I didn't know that that doesn't go away because my OBGYN was like, oh, you have that, just do this. You know, just take out your IUD or whatever. I don't remember what he said 10 years ago. And come to find out from now having my blood work done, no, this is a condition that you have and it comes with all of these side effects like insulin resistant. You know what being insulin resistant does to your body? Uh, it wreaks havoc. Do you know, and um, it causes all these other things that lead to like depression or whatever. And then I found out that I have you know, uh, this place that we did the work, they do a genetic test to see if you can, if your body can absorb vitamin B. Like, I, that's brilliant, right? Oh, wait, come to find out I have that defect. And so now I have to have a methylated B. These things is, you can say, you know, or you can know, take your vitamins, but if you have a genetic yep. defect where you don't absorb them, it's not working. And so, you know, come, we, just these little tiny things. So now, you know, these guys put me on, a medication that helps with being insulin resistant and I dropped like seven pounds in two weeks and it's because when you're insulin resistant like that's just this like that's a side effect and these these little things so if you're you know I, if you're going to the gym and you're doing all these things and you're not the results are not showing there's probably an underlying issue